Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with a little low-end opening here. Scored a bunch of these Chronicles blasters. Time is past for these, but scored these on the cheap. We got five of these. I'm going to go ahead and rip through these real quick. What I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and open all the boxes, get all the packs out, and then move the video along just so we get to ripping. If you haven't seen it, I've done Megas of these, and I didn't do the hangers this year. I did a bunch of Megas. I didn't do hanger videos on camera, and I didn't do blasters on camera, so that's why I grabbed these. So what did they say here? Get four blaster exclusive prestige rookies per box on average. Five cards, five cards, eight packs. Look for rookie cards from Prism Black and clearly Don Russ. What I noticed was you're going to pull a lot more clearly Don Russ out of these in previous boxes that I had open. So let me get all these open and we'll get going. All right, we got everything going. There'll be a quick recap at the end of this video. The one thing right off the jump that I'll say about Chronicles that I noticed is that when you are pulling cards, let's say Prism, for example, the Pink Chark, Judy, like these clear visions, you want to look for print lines on these. From what I noticed, more so with the clearly Don Russ, you'd have those issues. It's just what I noticed. I'm not going to inspect them closely now, but that's what I've noticed. And with the prism, so you got a Rugs Pink, you got a rated rookie Comet, and then a nice Joe Burrow. Gridiron Kings. And what I noticed with the prism is the centering. You'd have surface issues as well with those. Looks like we've got a, a little something shiny coming up. Ooh, Malik Taylor. I don't even think I pulled any of his cards. Huh. So we got a pink. Haha, <laughs> Kurt Warner, nice. Nice Judy there. Got a Dynagon. There you see the back. Prism. As I had mentioned, though, I did open six mega boxes and then I did a recap video for the mega boxes and the blasters that I opened off camera. So if you're interested in that, then go ahead and just check through my library. Jalen Rieger, Dynagon, so that's just a regular. Check through my library, air shows in town. But you're hoping to see one prism card per box. Davis something. A nice prism black. A nice and shiny. And we got a nice Jordan Love. Clearly Don Russ. What I will do is, then we closed out here with a Tua. What I'm going to do is, after I'm done opening everything from all five of these boxes, we'll set aside some of the hits, and I'll do a recap of everything. There's a nice Joe Burrow, a nice Burrow Prestige, oh, followed by a Burrow Chronicles. And it's true here, it looks like what I was saying in my previous video on this was centering. See here, centering's not exactly 50-50. Is it within 60-40? Eh, maybe. See Antonio Gibson, playoff momentum. And a Jordan Love Luminance. All right, last pack of blaster number one. Got Antonio Gibson on the back there, you see. Oh, we did get a prism card. Let me take a look. From here, it looks like the centering is okay on that one. Rieger. The pink, Tyler Johnson, Gabriel Davis. So many of the cards I pulled out, he comes out very often. But it's all good because look at that centering on that. It's pretty good. I'm trying to rotate this a little bit and see if we see any surface issues. But Prism Black, centering is pretty much dynamite on that one. You will definitely take that regardless of who the player is because pretty rare. I would say about 
half the stuff I was pulling would come out off-centered. Pink Tiki Barber. A Clear Visions Jonathan Taylor. And close it out with a Michael Pittman Jr. That's just a clearly Don Russ it looks like there. Yep, Denzel Mims, rated rookie. And a Kenneth Murray. Let me take a look at this Denzel Mims real quick. Centering's a little bit off, a little bit chunkier on this side over here. Beautiful card, though. Love the acetate cards, as I say. And who doesn't, right? One of you out there, maybe. A little shiny. Oh, we've got a black silver. It looks like the centering might be a little bit thicker on this side over here. But we'll see when we get to it. Gibson, got a pink Judy, boom, T. Higgins, okay, yeah, centering's not too bad, a little bit thin maybe on the bottom, but we'll definitely take that, a nice silver T. Higgins, there you see the back, and Zach Moss, Ayuk, Robinson, Pink, Jalen Hurts. There you saw the Jonathan Taylor following up. That regular. And then Antonio Gibson. Hopkins. C.D. Lamb. Got a pink Ayuk. So Pittman. Clear Visions. And an Isaiah Simmons. That Jalen Hurts on the back there. The Tua. Kittle base. There's a Joe Burrow pink. Did I see what I thought I saw? Yeah. You see this often out of this particular set. That corner. I talk about this in my other video as well. Those corners on these cards on some of these sets. It's that whitening there. You know, Okuda. Rated rookie. Centering looks pretty decent on this one. And then that Jalen Hurts. Let me take a look at him as well. Because I would see corner issues from time to time on these ones as well. See like a little whitening there. All right, two more packs in this blaster, which is blaster number two. Joseph Burrow on the back there. Manning Bass. James Morgan. Robinson Pink. DeAndre Swift. I saw so you got that Joe Burrow. Corner on this one. Yeah, actually looks pretty solid. Better get that to a sleeve <laughs> before something happens to it. And you consistently see corner issues on that particular series from what I pulled. So Terry McLaurin. Oh, it looks like we got another prism in here. Nice. I cheated. I looked at the centering. Looks okay. Cam Akers. That's the main thing I am always looking for. A Herbert Pink. Looks like this one was upside down. What do we got? Chase Claypool. Centering is a little bit thicker on this side, as you can see. Top to bottom looks pretty good, so no complaints there. And another Herbert. Yeah, nice. All right, so that is blaster number two. First pack, blaster number three. A Judy, Clear Vision, Nayuk. Yeah, and previous. Blasters I had opened, I was pulling a lot more rated rookies in Prism, but that's not holding true here. Chin, got the pink, got pink Gridiron Kings, got Cam Akers, rated rookie, and LaMichael P. Ryan, Gridiron Kings. Moon, we got a shiny legacy coming up, CJ Henderson, John Smith, pink, and a Tua. Nice. LaVisca. As I've said in other videos, I'm not really necessarily a Tua believer. See the back there? Prism. And I felt that way coming out of college. But as I always say, I wasn't necessarily that high on Herbert either. So take that for what it's worth, right? <laughs> Bosa. Teddy. Herbert. Pink. And Tua. Both of the guys that I had just mentioned. Ayuk. Out of Luminance. Jones, Claypool, Pink, Jordan Love, 
I wasn't high on him either. Gabriel Davis, Clear Visions, and Chase Young. But we'll see. Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see on Jordan Love. Hers got off to a slow start last their first game, and, you know, the calls were coming already, but they've rebounded. Elliot, as of the time I'm recording this video, of course, whenever you watch it, who knows. CD Lamb Pink, Rated Rookie, Edwards, Hilaire, and another Joe Burrow, Gridiron Kings. Brown, Judy, Base Pink, AJ Brown, Playoff Momentum Rookies, Rugs, and a Jonathan Taylor. Last pack of Blaster number three, Base Jacob Blake. Oh, we do have a prism here. Centering, eh, looks like maybe close. A Juro, there's a Burrow Pink and a Jalen Hurts. Nice. Black, centering, looks pretty solid. What do you guys think? Pretty solid on that centering, right? See if there's any surface issues. Obviously, I'll inspect these a lot closer off camera. T. Higgins. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, blaster number four. Gibson Chronicles. Taylor Prestige. Taylor Pink Chronicles. And Justin Jefferson. Clear Vision. And a Jacob Eason. Donald Bass. Mac. If you have to get two defensive base cards, those are two that you'd take, right? Pittman, pink, a Chase Claypool, rated rookie, a Jake Fromm. Let's take a look at that Claypool. He's centering a little bit thinner on this side. That's what I've noticed most often is that centering is a little bit thinner to that particular side for whatever reason. Frank Gore base. Hmm. I can't recall having seen one of those. Chase Young. Centering actually looks pretty good on that one. Pink, Chronicles, Zach Moss, Clear Vision, and that Rugs. Looks like we got a little shiny Legacy card coming up. Locke, Wilson, Kenneth Murray, Pink. That was slid out there. That Joshua Kelly. Centering looks all right on that one. A little thin on the bottom. Darrell Williams. Can't say I've seen much of his stuff coming out of what I've pulled so far. Chark. Rugs. Cup. Oh, Jalen Hurts clear vision. Nice. Nothing much going on in this blaster so far. It's a little dormant. Maybe we'll get a little something good in these past three packs here. Warner Base. Danny Marino. Zach Moss Pink. Oh, there we go. There it is. Joe Burrow rated rookie. Let's set that one down. Closed it out with Edwards Hilaire, Luminance. I don't think I've pulled one of these yet. Got a couple Herberts. See, thinner on this side as well, in terms of the border. Hopefully that gives you a better idea. Top to bottom looks fine. But again, it's always off to that one side a little bit. Joe Burrow again. Van Jefferson. Robbie Anderson. Ah, uh, Justin Herbert, Playoff Momentum, and a Cam Akers, Gridiron Kings. Last pack of Blaster, number four. Taylor, oh, Bengals, score coming up. Is it going to be Mr. Higgins or Mr. Burrow? Boom, Higgins, haha. -ha. Centering, looks pretty good on that one. A little bit off, maybe, a little bit thinner over here. Centering is an issue on those as well. Close it out with a Tyler Johnson. So that was Blaster, number four. Eh, maybe the lesser of the bunch so far, but it picked up a little bit towards the end. Last blaster right here. Tannehill, Chase Young, Pink Roethlisberger, Jordan Love Clear Vision, and a Jalen Hurts Gridiron King. Jacobs, Sanders, Mooney, it's a T. Higgins rated rookie. Again, you can see a little bit thinner on this side. And then a Joe Burrow. So consistently thinner on this side is what I've noticed of the stuff I've been pulling. Barry. So Joshua Kelly. Devontae Adams. And an Ayuk. Clear Vision. And a Justin Herbert. A score back there. Brady. 
Hill, the Charger. Oh, we saw the arm already. We know it's not Kelly based on the arm we saw. <laughs> Justin Herbert score and then DeAndre Swift to close it out. Let's take a look at that real quick. Centering looks pretty solid on that, maybe off slightly. So pretty solid card. We'll see how it looks when I inspect it up close, see if there's any surface damage on it or anything. So like I said, I know it's passed. We're on to the 2021 product. Is anybody out there still opening this stuff? Joe Burrow, Clear Vision, running the ball. Anybody out there still opening this stuff? Anybody opening more, not opening any? Not open any at all. It's decent if you get it at retail, obviously. I said I paid a little bit more per box for this, but it was pretty good. It's a Darrington Evans. I haven't seen much of his stuff either. Jacob Eason. Yeah, decent if you can get it at retail or if you got it at retail back then. You had decent value out of it. If you're having to pay more than retail, though, probably not value-wise. And another Joe Burrow. Momentum, definitely take that. Jerry Judy. And our last pack. Let's see if we can get a prism out of here. Some Gibson on the back. Nope, looks like we've got another score, though. I saw purple. That can be Dobbins. Favre. Gronk. To Gabriel Davis. Oh, Justin Jefferson. Haha, <laughs> nice. Centering looks pretty solid on that. Right. A lot of times you'll see print lines and stuff like that on those ones. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sort these real quick and then come back and show you the hits. All right, everyone, back with a quick recap. Sleeved up all the Herberts, the Burrows. Didn't sleeve up all the Tuas or the Hertzs. Quick recap. Remember, this was five blasters. So at retail, you'd be paying $100 for this. I got them for about $150. So obviously that changes your perception of value right, based on what you pay. So you saw the Tua, Legacy Prism, Jefferson, Burrow, a couple Burrows there, that Herbert score. Like I said, first one of these I think I've pulled. I don't think I pulled any of those out of all the Megas and Blasters I had previously opened. Easy burrow for days. T. Higgins. I gotta go with this as my favorite card just because I am a sucker for the prism black, especially ones that are well centered. All right, so there you go. Nothing too crazy. Will it have long term value? Got the Herbert Pink. We'll see. Like I said, check for those corners on particular series, like these Luminant series, and then this particular series right here. Check for those corners. And then these clear visions cards, check for faint print lines and things like that. Prisms, same thing, the centering and like little surface issues. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Hopefully you enjoy this. And we'll see. I will buy Chronicles again next year if I'm able to get some at retail. Secondary, eh, not so much. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Be well.